part 17 of Laravel Land series uh, in which we are creating the multi-vendor e-commerce website and we are working on the vendors module in which we are managing the personal business and bank details of the vendor okay so uh, in the last video we have seen that we have able to add the data into uh, we have created the two tables in fact okay we have uh, created i am going to open ecom9 folder and we have created the vendors bank details table and we have created the vendors business details table vendors bank details we have created for uh, saving the bank details of the vendor and business details for saving the business details shop details of the vendor and uh, and we have added the entry in vendors table and we able to log in into the end in the last video we can able to see that we able to log in into the vendor admin panel okay so now in this video uh, we are going to uh, we are going to add the details in another two table vendor bank details and also uh, vendor business details so that we can show in admin panel okay uh, so but first of all we need to add the models for these two tables we have not created any model so far for these two tables so first step is to create the model and after that we are going to add the data in these two table with the help of cedar okay so let's start uh, first of all i'm going to create the model files uh, like php artisan make model first model we are going to make for our vendors business details so we are going to uh, make the model like vendors Winners detail and one more model we are going to make for vendors bank detail okay so now we are going to create the cedar file for adding data into vendor business uh, details table okay and so we are going to create the file like uh, php artisan we are going to create the file vendors business details table header ok so now I am going to close the earlier files and we'll open this newly created file vendors venus details table header okay so once again uh, we are going to add the entry here but first of all we are going to add the model use app models vendors venus detail okay it's not this one it's model vendors business detail okay so here we are going to add the vendor record vendor records like this here we are going to add id i'm going to add like one okay so vendor id also as one id for the vendor and after that shop name we are going to check uh, the records here vendor business details from here we can get the all the records okay vendor id then shop name shop address all these shop details then address proof then business okay so all these all these we are going to enter here for for entering or for uh, inserting the uh, dummy data into the uh, this vendors business details table so after vendor id shop name shop name uh, any shop name we can add here like uh, uh, uh john electronics okay if john deals in electronics john electronics okay electronics store 
like this this is the shop name and then shop address so like we have added uh, the address for the vendors i'm going to open that address okay so it's uh, like the uh, uh, we can say it's uh, the home address of the vendor but uh, maybe uh, his address is different okay so uh, we are going to uh, add now the shop address of the vendor okay so shop address varies from the home address okay so here uh, we can add something anything we can add one two three four uh, shop come office shop com csf anything we can add this is the shop address and once again we are going to add the shop city so we are going to have the same details city so uh, that vendor uh, is located in the same city where uh, his address is okay mostly the city of the uh, business as well as the residential information of the vendors are same okay so we are going to have the same city and state shop city then uh, shop state first we can add it like this we can add all the information like this okay uh, we can straight away copy everything so it will save our time otherwise it will take a lot, lot of time i'm going to do like this okay so that our time will get saved like shop city now i will pick everything from here shop state like shop address is done then shop city then shop state after that i am going to add the dummy entries into it shop country shop pin code shop mobile shop website shop email address proof address proof image Business license number, DSC number, and the last one, PAN number. Okay, so all the entries are now done, all the columns we have added. So now we can easily add Delhi shop country india pin code uh, double one triple zero one shop mobile that same mobile that we are having we can also open that uh, vendor table seeder okay same mobile we are going to have shop website any website like we have the website said makers dot in from which you can download the code as well okay so here email john at the rate of admin.com so same email we are going to have here john at the rate of admin.com and address proof uh, like we are going to give the passport suppose uh, the passport is given by the that uh, vendor okay so address proof image so image we will give it okay then image name will come okay like test dot jpg so image does not exist right now but we will add the dummy like this so any lessons number suppose okay this one then gsc number then pan number okay often they are too long okay so now the details are ready now don't forget to add the insert okay insert query here vendors business details then insert and we are going to insert these details on the vendor records okay so i am going to run php artisan db seed 
here some issue has come let's see where is the issue uh, duplicate entry one okay so it is saying it is okay so we have made the issue ourselves this one we need to uh, disable this one and we are going to have this table header vendors now we are going to add it like this vendors table vendors business details table header okay now it will work fine now we are going to run that again php artisan db sheet see our record must have been created now yes so we have got the record here complete information of the vendor business details okay so in the same way we are going to add information in the uh, vendor bank details as well and after that we are going to show that information in the admin panel and the uh, both vendor and admin can able to update the information admin can approve the vendor as well okay so we are going to create the another cedar file uh, for the uh, bank details of the vendor okay so we are going to create the another cedar file here vendors bank details table header okay so we are going to open this file vendor bank details table header and here we are going to run once again uh, we are going to add these records okay so i'm going to copy this one so that it will save the time the model we are going to add our own model that is the vendors bank detail not this one just i am copy to save the time okay so here one we are going to save in vendor bank detail and here we are going to have that id vendor id after that uh, there are few columns that we are going to have that account holder name so i'm going to replace these entries bank name account number bank ifc code i'm going to remove all other data here then we'll update like the name of the vendor if the name is like john cena and bank name I'm going to have the icica bank account number any account number the vendor is having okay anything then ifc code of the bank suppose this is the ifc code so now we are going to run that php artisan db seed but before that don't forget to update this database table header we are going to command this one and now we are going to have here bank we are going to call this vendor's bank details table header here from the database header file and now php artisan db seed and these details have also been created vendor bank details are there now we are going to check c record has been come in vendor bank details as well okay so both vendor uh, bank details we have got along with the vendor business details now in the next video uh, we are going to show these details here in the vendor panel uh, both for admin and both for vendor okay so once the uh, admin is going to approve the vendor and we are going to uh, make the table for the vendors all the vendors we are going to show for the admin and admin can able to approve those vendors and uh, when the admin approve the vendor and if, if if in case vendor updates his details again then vendor then admin is going to approve again okay so that thing we are going to do in next video okay so stay tuned for that so if you have any queries then you are welcome to ask me anytime uh, in video description you can ask video uh, video comments you can uh, uh, give there and you can always join the facebook group facebook stack developer group this is the channel uh, where you you can like the page as well facebook.com stack developers too okay so this is the page that you can like for getting the updates for laravel updates and also you can join the group group stack developers this is the group that you can join anytime okay so this is the group that you can join 
and you can uh, send me the friend request uh, as well at amit g100 this is my personal id if you want uh, any uh, help then you can also contact me okay amit g100 okay this is my id amit g100 you can contact me so now uh, also you can uh, join the channel subscribe the channel okay i hope that everyone knows so one can subscribe the channel this is the channel stack developer youtube.com stack developer this is the channel name you can simply subscribe the channel and join the channel to get the complete course okay so this is the series you can watch this series anytime you can watch all the videos just bookmark this series if you have not bookmarked yet then bookmark this laravel 9 tutorial series just click on here laravel 9 tutorial all the videos will come up okay and you can simply bookmark okay you can add here bookmark this tab so that it will be easier to uh, get the link of all the videos from here one by one you can able to access okay so that's all for now have a nice goodbye